Hello, my name is Nikki Tomlin, and I am going to be talking about my sophomore practicum, sophomore, for the summer of 2018. So what I was told to do was to basically um, clean out this mess here. Not just this mess, but like the whole area above the Russell Auditorium. Russell Auditorium was built in 1928 and renovated in... 1996 the year I was born and it can seat nearly a thousand people the fun part about it was th it was just chaos like reorganizing it was not the best thing like it took a lot of time and it took a lot of sources so the reason why it took so many sources is because it um let's see easiest way to put it it was It was just a mess. Like, there was very little storage available. There was no way I could get extra storage, which didn't make it easy. But I'm a pretty organized person, in my opinion, so I figured I could do it. Um, the reason why I chose this was because in this textbook, the History of Theater 10th Edition, there's a lot of good knowledge in it. However, it doesn't really mention the other guys. What I mean by that is... It doesn't mention anything about the stage managers, the prop master. It just, it focused mostly on famous directors, actors, and theaters themselves, but not really the other people that make everything happen. So I figured this would be a good opportunity to talk about that. So what I did when I first started was, I was told by Keith that that was my job. So I went up and just took some pictures, which you saw, of the entire mess, and I worked with it. Um, I never drew anything out in my head. Like, I never drew anything out just because I knew in my head I could figure out what to do step by step. So, yeah. When I go to, when, I, when I'm talking about, like, stage management and such, um, I did look up some stuff. I looked in the back of this book and didn't see anything for the stage managers. However, there was an article done by um, Lionheart Theater Company about the importance of the stage manager. I thought it was a really good read, and it, that's what got me thinking about doing this. And the article basically stated how the stage manager is working almost as much as the director on everything, and at some points is arguably more important when it comes to the backstage setup. They make sure the plays go on well. They make sure everybody's where they need to be. They're basically the parent of the entire cast of a play. And I think that was something interesting. So one of the other resources I went to was the prop handbook. And this was mostly because... I figured it was theater related, so I might be able to do the same stuff with the technology that we had in above Russell Auditorium. That wasn't the case, but it did give some pretty interesting ideas. And I learned that the prop handbook's way of making these notes is to basically get a sheet of paper and write down everything you have and organize it in that way, a number system. And then if anybody needs anything, you just check it out for them, and they sign it, and you know where things are, or where they're not. If they're not there, you know who has them. And I think I should have implemented that on this, but my main idea was just cleaning. But I think showing you how it looks now might make it a little bit better. So this is the lighting area. I took a, some time and just reorganized it. Um, you're seeing right from that hall, I just cleaned out. This is the um, other side of that. Sorry, these are going by in like three second period. But you can see that I just spent the time and I just really wanted to make sure everything looked nice. So if you compare that to, sorry, this one, you can just see how much different it gets. Like this was not an easy task. And I do apologize about the picture quality. My phone is not the best and I did not want to bring my camera into this clutter. 
Um, anyway, you can see that I did spend a lot of time just reorganizing and pretty much just finding places for everything. When I ran out of space with the lights to hang, I kind of just had to set them around and make them work. But I think, I think it is good. I'm not completely happy with it. But that's because when I'm organizing something, I want it to be very detailed. And I did not do that. So, however, Keith, my supervisor for this sophomore practicum, was happy. And he stated it was the cleanest he's ever seen it. So that made me feel kind of good. But, yeah. Thanks for watching.